What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Tamir Radia and I am back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing 10 tips for the modest girlies, the hijabis on how you can stay fresh and cool this summer. Now, I know we are halfway through the summertime. I just figured it would be helpful to share this with those of you who either live in hot climates yourself or have been suffering this summer. Maybe this is your first summer being a hijabi. Whatever the case may be, I just figured maybe, hopefully, inshallah, these tips will be helpful towards you ladies. And of course, if you have any tips of your own, please leave them down below in the comment section because the more the merrier. On that note, if you're interested in learning about some of the things that I have picked up over the past year and a half of being a hijabi, then just continue watching. So the number one tip is to have a reliable body wash and sponge combo. I know a lot of the girlies like to prioritize body washes that have really nice smells and are fragrant. Sometimes those body washes can be a little bit misleading because they smell great, but they're not actually scrubbing the dirt off your skin. You already know this is a Dr. Bronner's Stan account. I use Dr. Bronner's for everything. If you watched my Microlog Q&A video, then you would know that I like to use the Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap, the peppermint one for my hair. And likewise, I like to use Dr. Bronner's for my body as well. I love the lavender one for my body. Not only does it smell great, but it also does an amazing job at scrubbing off any dead skin, dirt, sweat, you name it. You can trust the soap to get you crispy clean. <laughs> I like to use the soap in combination with an African net sponge. If you've been watching my hygiene routines for years on this channel, then you would know I ride behind these sponges, okay? I will never switch up on them. Some people may have skin that is a little bit too sensitive for these, but I have quite literally been using these since I was a baby. So <laughs> these are the only things that work on my skin. They get me super clean. And I like to use the non scented baby castile soap for my intimate areas as someone with sensitive skin i find that this is a very very nice formula to use however it's really up to you guys i don't ever want to push products in your face and tell you this is the only thing that works this is just what works for me so next up is having a trustworthy antiperspirant or deodorant i am someone who likes to err on the natural side when it comes to products so i have been on the hunt for an aluminum free antiperspirant i'm not sure that exists but for an aluminum free deodorant that I trust and I like to use the Kosas Sport Serene Clean Chemistry Deodorant. This is an amazing product. Now because it's a deodorant, of course, it's not going to stop your sweat like an antiperspirant, but it is going to make sure that you do not stink. I stand behind this. Now if you don't mind using a product that contains aluminum in it and is an antiperspirant, I like the Ban Powder Fresh Roll-On. I have been using this for years, but because it has aluminum in it, I try to use it only when I know that I'm going to be sweating a lot. So basically in the summer, or whenever I'm doing physical activity, I will reach for this. So I like to use these interchangeably. Both of them are great. I stand behind them. But of course, if you have a deodorant or antiperspirant that you trust, stand behind that too because I am not here to push any overconception on you guys. I am just here to share some of the things that work for me. So my next tip would be to refrain from using any heavy body butters or lotions and resort to something that is lightweight and non-sticky on the skin. My number one favorite body butter at the moment that does not leave me feeling sticky moist anything like that is the 54 thrones cloud rapid hydration barrier repair cream this cream first of all smells amazing it smells like roses and it's made with Kenyan hibiscus and Moroccan rose I love how this feels on the skin it dries in a way where you are not left with any sort of residue on your skin it is the perfect cream for the summertime in my opinion another one of my favorites is the Sol de Janeiro Beja Flor Elasti cream this is a cream that dries really well on the skin without making you feel dry and it smells amazing if you know you know now of course i could not give you guys a hygiene routine without giving you all my favorite fragrance combo at the moment and it is of course none other than k ali we all know and love the pistachio gelato k ali perfume but this is new this is the maui in a bottle sweet banana by k ali and oh my goodness when you pair these together i don't even know what possessed me to try these together in the first place i think just looking at the bottles i thought that they would look cute together but in actuality these fragrances together are a match made in heaven i really don't know how else to explain them to you guys i'm not the best <laughs> with explaining notes and perfumes and whatnot i can just assure you that these were literally made for one another
So now that we're done with the hygiene basics and the things I like to do to smell fresh, here are some of the tips I like to follow in order to stay feeling as cool as possible while still maintaining my modesty. This next tip is pretty straightforward, but if you are a tote girly or someone who likes to carry bigger bags, I'd highly recommend throwing a portable fan into your bag whenever you can. I don't leave the house without a portable fan, y'all. It's gotten to that level of heat where I cannot risk leaving the house without a portable fan of some sort. Even when I'm traveling, like I'll be in the middle of the airport terminal with my portable fan trying to stay cool because it gets difficult sometimes, especially when you're wearing hijab. So many layers, it is easy to get hot even when it isn't necessarily hot outside. So I love carrying this one around with me because it folds up like this. So it's super easy to just throw in your tote bag or your larger bag per se. And it charges, well, I won't say much for the charging. It takes a while to charge, but the battery lasts a pretty long time. And I've had this for probably over a year now. So I'd highly recommend this one. I'll have the link to this in the description box below. Now this next tip is for my hijabis and it is to invest in breathable undercaps. I have two different undercaps here which both work great for helping your scalp breathe during those summer months. This first one is a mesh cap. It's not mesh all the way through but it's mesh sort of where the back of your head is so that you still get that modesty and that coverage. I love this one. This one is from Well Chic. Another rendition of an undercap that is breathable is basically one of these. I don't really know what these are called exactly but essentially it is just an undercap cap that has a hole on both ends kind of just looks like a cylinder these ones are a hit or miss because if you have a lot of hair this is not going to do you much good in keeping it in place but if you are someone that has hair that is a little bit more manageable then this will be your best bet i just make sure that my hair is in a bun whenever i have this so i don't have any accidents with hair slipping out or anything like that i forgot where i got this one though but once i figure it out i will have a link down below in the description box for you guys now for this next tip it's pretty obvious that your girl is wearing a model hijab this one is from Veiled Collection. We love that these are trendy, but we also love that these are breathable. I am a Jersey girl through and through, but I've come to realize that Jersey is just not appropriate for the summertime, point blank period. Unless I feel like suffocating that day, I am going to refrain from wearing Jersey, even with how much I love it because of how heavy it can feel. So I have been resorting to a lot more modal hijabs and it's great because with these, you kind of get to wear them in a way where you are allowing ventilation into your head. Like this style alone is a great way to feel Feel the breeze throughout the day. The only downside is that when it is windy, your hijab is not gonna stay put. Point blank period. Your hijab is going to be discombobulated. But on the bright side, you will remain cool. You will feel cool throughout the day. So I love that about these. A lot of modal hijabs tend to be very see-through, which I don't like. But ones that I would definitely recommend are the ones from Build Collection, like the one I'm wearing. And then I also have some hijabs that were sent to me from a new hijab company called Allure's Collection. I wore one of them actually in my micro lock Q&A video, and I got so many questions about it even though I told y'all where it was from. They're honestly so stunning. The prints are beautiful. This next tip actually falls under another trend that we've been seeing a lot this summer and I feel like throughout this year and it is resorting to cotton and linen blouses or even sets. This top I'm wearing is actually from Naked Fashion and it is a linen top and it has done wonders for me when it comes to staying cool in the summer. I have definitely been putting a lot of money aside to invest in more tops like these because they all honestly do make all the difference. Not only are they modest and loose and they keep you covered, they also allow a lot of air to ventilate and make sure that you are not passing out from heat exhaustion. Here is another example of a blouse, except this one is 100% cotton and it does just as amazing job as the linen, honestly. I actually got this one at Kohl's, believe it or not, and it has grown to be one of my favorite blouses because like I said, it is super, super breathable, super versatile as well. Great thing about these two is that you can wear them with sleeveless tops since your sleeves are of course covered or even a backless top if that is your vibe as well because your back will be covered highly 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 recommend so this next tip is for the girlies who may not be super into the blouses might be a lot more comfortable in your t-shirts but you are worried about compromising your modesty i have been loving these little arm sleeves for the summertime not only are they so functional but they serve multiple purposes in fact the other day i was wearing a denim skirt that had a slit at the back and i just thought ran 
randomly to myself why don't i try the little arm sleeves i got the other day and see if these will be able to give me the coverage i need on my legs to make sure that i am not accidentally flashing anybody don't be fooled by these little arm sleeves they are very stretchy i have very big calves and the fact that they were able to fit in these is quite literally amazing i love the fact that i was able to use these to give me the coverage i needed without having to put on a whole layer of leggings underneath my skirt because that just would have caused me to feel a lot more hot so yeah i love these i have them in black i have them in white i have a gray pair blue i even have a tan pair they're honestly just so amazing the last tip isn't really related to staying fresh or cool in the summer, but I really do think that this is going to come in handy, especially for my girls who like to wear sandals and flip-flops during the summertime. It is very common for avid sandal wearers to have very crusty feet as a result of wearing sandals and flip-flops so often. So two things I like to do to ensure that my feet are staying smooth and baby soft all year round is using a pumice stone. Not every single day, but as often as necessary, I probably say I use about once a week i used to use it a lot more often but thanks to this product by the inky list girl i have not had to use this probably the past two weeks now this is very new in my routine but i had to show it to you guys because it's honestly incredible this is the glycolic acid exfoliating body stick by the inky list i am someone that wears sandals pretty much all the time it is very rare that you'll see me in a pair of sneakers so you can only imagine the state of my feet so when this was sent to me in pr i was super excited to try it and y'all i must say this works miracles so if you are someone that struggles with that or you're just someone that wants to prevent that i would highly 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 recommend trying this i use this about three to four times a week this combo right here will get your feet so right to the point where you probably won't even need to use this anymore so i will have a link down below where you guys can get this because it is absolutely worth every single penny in my opinion so that basically concludes today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if there's anything that you learned in today's video for the first time please let me know in the comment section or if there's anything you want to put the girls onto in general that will help us stay cool, please do because I am always open to learning more on how we can beat this heat as hijabis, as modest girlies because Lord knows it is not easy. So make sure to leave your comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.